Hey guys, how you doing? So a question I get put to me a lot is, am I learning the right programming language? Am I learning the right library? Is this skill worth learning? As a general rule, my suggestion to you is to consider that anything that you learn has value. Well, maybe not acting classes or basket weaving or something or the philosophy of frogs, but in terms of practical skills, whether it be coding, whether it be JavaScript or Python or PHP, whether it be uh, learning basic bookkeeping, basic finance, interpersonal skills, whatever, learning WordPress, Shopify. If you're learning something that has some utility in business and in life, really, you can't lose. So a lot of people who are getting into something new, they're worried that they're going to learn the wrong thing or they're wasting time. I submit that you are not wasting time learning anything. I have found that any subject, any language, any framework I learned, even if I'd never use it eventually, it had some value. It had some value. Try not to have any anxiety about you're going to learn the wrong language or of a long or of a wrong framework because or of, or of a wrong platform because it doesn't matter because you're not, right? There's value. So let's say, for example, you'd say, I want to learn Swift, iOS and Swift development. So you learn that. And then you find you're, t you're having a hard time getting a job in that. Is it a waste? No, because you've learned software development, right? And the skills, the Swift skills that you picked up are very much transferable to learning C Sharp or Java or Python. So... When you go from learning Swift, then you jump to Python, you're going to learn Python in a fraction of the time. It's going to be like this. So don't worry about it. Just jump into it and know that you are improving yourself. The key to getting a job or starting a business, life in general, is always leveling up. You want to make yourself more valuable as an individual. You make yourself more valuable as an individual by developing valuable skills. How do you determine if skills are valuable? Look at the marketplace for them. Like we know that there's a lot of jobs in web development. There's value. We know there's a lot of jobs in Swift development. There's value. We know there's jobs in just installing WordPress. There's value there. On the other hand, I don't think acting classes are not going to be worth too much to you. Uh, creative drawing classes probably not going to be worth too much to you in the, uh, in the marketplace. Again, I'm not... I'm not attacking these, uh, these fields of study. It's just I'm looking, when you're looking at making money in jobs, let's be realistic about the opportunities that a particular set of skills will give you. So when you're evaluating something to learn, uh, always consider the, um, the job opportunities. Always consider uh, what the market will bear in terms of you know, how, how many people need developers or just how many people need I know actors and actresses, right? It's pretty clear where the money is. So going back to the original theme of this video, now you can't really lose by learning anything. Even stuff that may not have direct jobs, you know? Like I did uh, an elective in university on anthropology, just one class, and I found great value. And I still remember some key lessons in the anthropology class, which uh, it helped me in certain aspects in business, believe it or not. Yeah, it's not something I would do full time personally. It's not like a, a, something I would take as a major, but it was still beneficial to take that anthropology class. I do not regret taking it. So there you go. That's it. Point of the video: Don't have kittens over what language you're learning or what library you're learning. It doesn't really matter as long as you're learning, as long as you understand the concepts, as long as you're uh, developing more and more skill that uh, will help you in the market. It's all cool. Time for another coffee, I guess, yeah. <laughs>